Hello everyone, one of my subscribers asked me to do a little follow-up video of uh, my scooter and uh, I'll do it very quickly, I'm going to work right now It is raining completely, it's gonna be all day rain So I'll be also putting on my rain gear, it's always in my trunk So I just took it out so I can put it on So quickly about the scooter uh, still the same setup. I have this little LED light here, which is quite bright. It shines directly down so Just for the foggy conditions. I want more visibility. I did change the carburetor uh, This air filter is completely uh, unused uh, because my air filter is actually here uh, The carburetor I put on is PZ19 It's simple carburetor. It doesn't have a uh, accelerator pump uh, but uh, it doesn't have that uh, um, I'm gonna just turn the choke so I can start the scooter the scooter has been sitting for a couple of probably a week now I've been using the motorcycle over there uh, it, it doesn't have that bog down anymore, right? I used to always uh, have a bog down right on top on, on start of the acceleration It will be like like sputter a little bit like And then keep moving uh, this carburetor got rid of it mm. This front fender com became completely uh, cracked up so I just bought a plastic fender from online, $30 And I painted it, it was white, it was unpainted part So I just painted it black, it's some kind of rubber paint Looks good, but it looks like uh, there is a crack already here too And uh, I changed the headlight The lights are very weak spot on those things They tend to fade or they don't just, uh, they, they don't do the job So I just took the light bulbs out all the uh, completely no light bulbs here I have this light uh, I like it it still doesn't do a perfect job but which the one that does a perfect job because I had the same issue with Honda I bought this headlight which is a little bit larger it takes the standard uh, uh, round lights that are sold in automobile store uh, for 20 bucks and it goes right on here and it uses regular H4 bulb Because I had an issue with my old 30 year old Honda light uh, Because it just didn't do its job either. It's too old. It's not made for today's age so uh, Oh, okay, and now I have uh, 12,000 miles on it uh, kilometers, I'm sorry, 12,000 kilometers there, is, there was one engine rebuild at 10,000 when uh, my bearing on a cam sh uh, crankshaft failed I fixed it and then I lost compression with, uh, with that re after that rebuild and I had to put the new cylinder and, uh, and piston on it again uh, because it ran out of oil, I didn't notice it, I was uh, riding and pushing it, uh, not really breaking it in properly So I had to redo that part again Now it's thousand miles on that cylinder and everything seems to be fine Yeah, the choke is kind of far away now, but uh, I let it run 15 seconds and I'll just turn it off and one thing with this carburetor is if the engine is not warmed up and usually takes about in a warm weather I would say maybe three four minutes of riding before the engine warms up and then the thr throttle response is very good Before that you, <coughs> you you can actually stall at some point so but uh, Anyway, let's go. I'm getting late. Bye. Bye
usually I just uh, leave my rain clothes to dry like this. My boots are under there. Nobody's touching it over here. In this weather, it was kind of windy, so my top speed was about 40. If there was a little bit of downhill, a little incline, it would already go to 45. But in general, I consider my scooter's maximum cruising speed 35 and 40. That's <laughs> taking into account small inclines and flats. Downhill, of course, it, it can go 45 easily, even on a small incline. That's it. Now, really, that's it. Everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.